So in scenario one, what we'll be doing here is we're going to take a look at these two clones, right? And uh, we're going to grab the uh, data model from the main branch. And in clone one, we'll make a cosmetic change, right? And, you know, we'll continue to work on that uh, uh, clone, right? But what we will also switch to, you know, after we've made that cosmetic change in clone one, we're actually going to uh, open up the version in clone two, make a different cosmetic change there, and also um, push that back to the main, to the remote. Therefore, you're going to have a scenario where the cosmetic change that we had made in clone one, which has not been pushed back to the remote, now first needs to pull before it can actually push the original cosmetic change back into the remote. Right, so you will see, you know, there will be a push, a pull before you push, and as a consequence, you know, there's going to be some small conflicting changes to the data model that are going to have to be automatically resolved. And a similar thing can happen in the um, clone two, right? You can make some changes there, and you know, it can come back into the main by pushing it back. Right, so that's the scenario. It's a very simple scenario, and what we want to illustrate here is that there are changes that can happen in parallel edits of the same data model that actually lead to some conflict, but that Hackolade is going to be automatically resolving. Let's take a look at this. So here I am in the Hackolade studio, right? And um, I only have one file inside this uh, clone one, right? And that is the MongoDB data model that I have over here. I have opted to only show the models in this list here, but actually, you know, all the other files are accessible here as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open this model from the clone one and you will see here there is a sessions um, entity over here and a comments entity over there and what i'll do is i'll actually you know put this one over here just simple as that right and save that to my uh, clone one that means that in clone one i can now commit this right committing cosmetic change but not pushing it right so committing it Right now, I'll go back to the model and I'll actually close it. Right, so here you go. Right, so the the model the change has been committed, but it has not been pushed. And now I'll switch to clone two and I'll open up the model from over there. Right, from the other clone of the same repo that you know I'm using to simulate that people are collaborating on that repo. Right, so now I'm going to open it over there, and as you can tell, right, the session entity is over here and the comments entity is over there. Right, so now I'll actually move this one to the left over there, right, which is different from what I had before. Right, and with the, in clone one, I moved everything to the right. In clone two, I'm moving everything to the left. Right, so if I save this now, then again I can go back to my GitHub repo and see that there are some changes that I can commit. Specifically, I've moved it to the left, right? So committing and pushing from clone two to the remote. Right, so committing and pushing that. Right, so that has now happened. So that means that clone two and the remote are now 100% in sync. If I go back to clone one, I will see something very different. Right, not only is my local commit still waiting to be pushed, but all of a sudden I actually have an indication here that says, well, you know what? Before you can push, you first have to pull. Right, so let's do that. We'll pull first. And as you can see here, there was a little dialogue there that said, well, actually there was a conflict, right? So now, I, uh, Hackolade has been smart enough to resolve that conflict, right? The conflict automatically. Um, and if I now commit and push that, right? And I will see in the history here that actually Hackolade automatically resolved this, right? And that now, if I go back and I open the file from the clone one, and I will see that automatically this is now all on the left in clone one, right? If I switch back to clone two, right? And uh, now clone two will actually have an out of date uh, version in its, uh, clone, so it first needs to pull, right? And once it does that, you will see that the file that I have over here in clone two also has both entities on the left, right? 
If I now change this back, you know, I, I put it over here, for example, and save it, right? Then obviously uh, I'm going to remote commit this as well, moving one entity to the right, right? Committing and pushing this, right? So now the file that I have here uh, is, you know, having one entity on every side here. And if I go back to the other clone, clone one, it will say, well, you actually need to pull, right? Because something has happened since you last uh, uh, edited your copy. And now I will see that um, there are, again, one entity on the left and one entity on the right. Right, so that's how that happens, and you can see that Hackalate is really helping us to automatically resolve those conflicts. Great, that's the end of scenario one, and now we can proceed to the next scenario.